Hey everybody, it's Camper here again, and today I'm gonna to be showing you my 2022 Colorado Trail Through Hike gear list. So stay tuned. Starting out with my backpack is the ULA Ohm 2.0. It's a wonderful pack, nice and light. On the shoulder straps, I have a Z-Pax uh, waterproof phone case and a Z-Pax water bottle holder. And then in addition to that, I have the Z-Pax uh, comfort um, shoulder strap pads on each of the shoulder pad straps. Next is another new addition, that is the Z-Pax duplex. Uh, very lightweight, uh, saved quite a bit there. In addition with the uh, tent stakes from Z-Pax, uh, really uh, enjoying so far. Uh, I also have here for my backpack is the Niafoam liner. Now for my sleep system, this is the Enlightened Equipment Convert 20 degree. And then I have a uh, sleeping bag liner from Sea to Summit. Next is a luxury item that I love, and that is a nice foam pillow by Thermarest. And then my sleeping pad is the Nemo Switchback, uh, the regular size uh, and width. Very comfortable, very lightweight, goes on the outside. Now on to the clothes I'll be wearing. These are my boots. These are the Keen Targi 3 Mids, waterproof. Uh, lightweight for a mid-sized boot. Very, very comfortable, very durable. Really love these. I only went through three pair on the Appalachian Trail. No blisters, no sore feet. And inside of the boot is the Obaz Ofit insoles. Very comfortable, cushiony. Another reason why I had zero foot pain on the entire through hike of the Appalachian Trail and I'll just go through one pair on the Colorado Trail. Continuing on with the clothes I'll be wearing is the Cool Renegade Convertible Hiking Pants. Very stretchy, uh, very breathable. Most of the time I'll just wear them as shorts. Uh, continuing on here is the Performance Long Sleeve Tee by Outdoor Research. Um, very breathable and uh, boy, it's super comfortable, no back sweat. I'll be wearing the darn tough socks. Uh, never really hike without them. They drive fast. Everything uh, they wear really, really well. And then I have the Duluth Trading Company uh, bullpen briefs. Uh, it's just like the commercials say about them. Uh, really wonderful product. I'll use them again. I have a new hat. It's a trucker style gray hat. And I got a patch. I put it on myself. Um, it looks, the patch is a, a hiking boot with like a mountain scene in it. Uh, looking forward to showing that off. I always hike with us uh, with the uh, fingerless gloves. They're like mountain biking gloves. And then of course my spandex uh, stretchy ace knee wrap. I always wear on my left knee. And then for my glasses, I have uh, these toggles uh, just to keep glasses around my head there, no problems. And then I have some gaiters. Um, new this year, the Mountain Scene by Go Long Gators. Help just keep my, uh, my shoes nice and clean. Now on to packable clothing. This is the Kuyu Peloton 97 fleece three-quarter zip. I'll be wearing this when it gets chilly in the morning and at night. REI Merino Wool Gloves. Smart Wool Merino Wool Beanie. An extra pair of darn tough socks, always a good idea. And an extra pair of Duluth Trading Company bullpen briefs. And an extra t-shirt, this is a short sleeve performance tee. And then just a small clothing bag that I'll be using to keep all my extra clothes in. And then in addition to that, a gallon Ziploc bag, and this will be for the dirty clothes. Next on to my rain gear, this is a new addition, the Montbell Versalite rain jacket. Super lightweight, comes in at about six and a half ounces. It's got pit zips. It's very breathable, very, very waterproof. Um, really looking forward to using this for the first time on my through hike. 
Next is a pair of North Face rain pants, the same pair I wore on the Appalachian Trail, so why not use them again? And then a pack cover for my backpack. Next up is going to be my food kit. Uh, this is a new company. Uh, this is by Hilltop Packs, and it's a nice square bottom, large size food bag. And then, of course, the uh, rock bag and the carabiner and the toss line that I'll be using with my food bag to hang uh, my food kit while I'm on the trail. I'm going to be cold soaking. No more stove this trail. Uh, Give it a shot. I'll be using a Talente, um, you know, jar with a lid and then a small uh, little jackknife. And then for my spoon or spork will be a titanium spork very lightweight and I just took a bandana cut it in half and that'll be my camp towel and then my water filtration system is the ever new two uh, liter bag and then the full size regular Sawyer squeeze can't go wrong with that uh, just to scoop water I got a half of a 16 ounce Sawyer bag really works nice and then I'll be bringing two one liter bottles uh, from Smart uh, Water. And uh, then for my bathroom kit, I have a Deuce of Spades cat hole. And then I have some toilet paper for obvious reasons. And then a small uh, container of hand sanitizer. And then, so that cat hole kit will all go in a gallon Ziploc bag. Uh, next up is my trekking poles. Love these. These are the Alpine Carbon, very adjustable, uh, very comfortable, lightweight by Black Diamond. Of course, I got some tape on there, uh, so I, if I run low. They got the nice cork handles. Uh, really love these, used them on the AT. And then I have a little Z-seat, a uh, little sit pad just to keep my uh, pants and shorts clean, and then I use it outside of my tent. Uh, this is a buff. Uh, for everyday use and next is my bug net for my head to keep the bugs away uh, this is a z-pax small wallet uh, first time I'll be using this and then I actually have a, a Gatorade uh, bottle that I use for going to the bathroom at night in the tent uh, here is my charger this is the uh, 20 mAh by anchor 20,000 mAh by anchor with the charging cord. Uh, this is my wall charger and cord. So that's a, a, a nice new addition. And then I have the night core uh, headlamp. Uh, thank you, Chit Chat, for this idea and the charging cord. And then all of my electronics will just go in a gallon Ziploc. Next, I have some sunblock and then some bug protection by Sawyer. Then I got a small body glide here for anti-chafing. And of course, some uh, vitamin I. And some Pepto if I have an upset stomach. And some homemade band-aids from Leco P-Tape and some gauze. And then a little Allen wrench for my uh, trekking poles. And then of course, my toothpaste and toothbrush. And I have a little uh, wipe for my glasses. And then just a single ink pen for whatever I need it. I've got some earplugs uh, in case anything's a little bit loud or some snores. And I have a back flush coupling for my Sawyer squeeze and an extra uh, rubber sealant for it. And then always a good idea to have an extra cap for the smart water bottle. And then all of that is going to go into a gallon Ziploc bag. As a maybe piece of gear is going to be an ultralight um, hiking umbrella and the attachments for us. I'm kind of on the fence about it, so we'll see if I bring it. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching my pre-Colorado Trail through hike 2022 gear list. As you can tell, I got quite a bit lighter from my Appalachian Trail through hike. Um, my Appalachian Trail through hike, my base weight uh, hovered around 20 to 22 pounds. And now my base weight is right around 11 and a half to 12 pounds. Um, so I'm very pleased about that, but I still have comfort. Um, again, at the end of the video, I showed uh, a luxury item that I am considering bringing uh, that would add about 8.6 total ounces for the umbrella 
and the attachments for the umbrella. So let me know what you think, especially if you have hiked um, through hiked the Colorado Trail or just done sections of the Colorado Trail, especially during the rainy season of July. And let me know if you would uh, recommend bringing that umbrella. Um, I do have an exceptionally good raincoat um, and rain pants. Uh, but, um, you know, just let me know what you think. So again, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be starting on July 1st from Waterton Canyon. So basically going from Denver to Durango. Um, I'll be joined by two of my uh, uh, vlogging and uh, hiking buddies, uh, fr the Frosty Hiker, and also Poncho from Poncho's Adventures. So thanks again, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you down trail.